WRAL News. Coverage you can count on. Computer games can be fun and frustrating. <laughs> However, soon they may also be saving lives. That's the idea behind a new virtual game-based learning tool for the medical world. WRAL's Dr. Alan Mask shows us it's a new way for those students to learn from their mistakes without a life depending on it. With the latest in lifelike patient simulation labs, healthcare students and professionals can get hands-on experience making life-saving decisions. But not everyone has easy access to this kind of technology. So what this type of platform offers is the ability to practice no matter where they are. Duke's Dr. Jeff Techman says this virtual gaming system, developed by Applied Research Associates for Duke, offers scenarios where a patient's life depends on teamwork, rapid response, and good decisions. In this particular situation, we can have different providers playing different roles. They can be an anesthesiologist, an OBGYN, a nurse, learning without offering any risk to the patient. This patient is about to suffer obstetric hemorrhage, bleeding during pregnancy, a problem that kills 140,000 women every year worldwide. It's important to recognize quickly when a patient needs to be transfused under these circumstances. You can see actually the blood loss is starting here. Participants can get patient feedback and choose appropriate drugs. Instructors can add unexpected twists. We actually examine Travis. This patient needs surgery to repair broken bones in his ankle. Missing one step in sedation can cause death unless doctors act quickly. He's developing a rash and his blood pressure will drop here uh, in a second. Game designers can always add new twists and new scenarios so that real patients stand a better chance of surviving any life-threatening complications. Dr. Allen Mask, WREL Health Team. So realistic. The game system also collects data on the good and bad decisions made by game participants so that medical educators can focus their teaching on problem areas.